Hey everyone, so today I'm not doing a bump date. I'm actually doing what's in my diaper bag. And I know I haven't done a bump date in two weeks. The first week um, I actually wasn't home to film and last week I was sick all week. I wasn't sick like nauseous sick, I was sick with a cold. So I'm over that now and I wanted to know your guys thoughts on either doing my next bump date which would be my 19th week bump date or waiting until my 20 week bump date and doing all of month five together so i do have an ultrasound coming up tomorrow and a doctor's appointment coming up um a week from tomorrow so you would get all of the ultrasound and all of my doctor's appointment information in that one video if i was to do all of month five so let me know what you guys think on that and now I'll just get to my diaper bag. So this diaper bag is actually new. I just bought it. I bought this one because it's bigger than my other one. So when the baby comes it will hopefully fit all of the baby's stuff and Michaela's stuff. I paid um, $32 or something like that um, on sale for this one at Bentley. So I guess I'll just show you what I like about this diaper bag um, firstly. So it has this huge compartment here in the front and then it has your main compartment here and that's it for pockets. Um, but then here is a zipper and it has a handle that you get to pull out so that you can wheel it around, which I love because when I have the baby, I'm gonna be carrying the baby in my wrap that I bought, plus I'm going to be pushing a stroller. So this will be perfect because um, it only takes one hand and I won't have to struggle to hold it up. So there's the wheels there. Oh, and then there's a back pocket as well, which I don't think I'll be using, um, there's nothing in it right now. So that is the diaper bag. So first things first, I have here um, just a little keychain. It comes with baby diapers, so you can put your diapers in it when you're done using them. So this diaper bag is packed for a one day excursion. So say we go to the doctor's office or we go shopping, um, usually when we go shopping, it's an hour there and then an hour back. So it ends up being an all day trip when we go shopping. So this would be packed for a day that we would be gone, say from like 10 o'clock in the morning to five o'clock at night. So I'll just start with the front pocket here. And I have children's suppositories. Um, normally I don't give her a suppository when we're out, but it's good just in case she, I can tell that she's not feeling well, um, and she needs one. Next I just have a hair tie. Next I have her lip gloss. Um, her lips are very dry all year long because she doesn't take anything through her mouth. So, um, we use this, like, at least 10 times a day to make sure that her lips are not dry and cracked. Next, I just have her attachment piece for her G-tube to give her medicine and her feed. And I have um, her feed bag. This goes on her feed pump, um, which I'll show you in a little bit. This normally would be on her feed pump, um, but I just grabbed a new one just to show you guys. Next, I have this little cylinder. Um, this is to measure formula and add in water to her feed. Next, I have two um, formulas. She only uses one, actually not even one. So um, I just bring an extra one just in case. This is Nutrient Junior with fiber. This is a prescription. Um, this is all she gets for um, nutrients. So then I just have one 10 mil syringe, which um, I use to flush her tube with water. And then I have a five mil and a three mil syringe, which would normally be um, 
filled with her lunchtime medicine. So she gets fed at three o'clock in the afternoon and normally we're out still by then. So she has to have her lunch medicine. Normally, if these were filled with medicine, I get have these little blue caps that go on the end and that just makes sure that um, the medicine isn't pumped out at all in her bag. So that is all for this compartment. Next, I'll move into the bigger compartment. And first we have her feed pump. So, um, like I said, the bag would be normally attached to this. Next, I just have a little water bottle. This I would fill with water so that I can flush her tube and um, add water to her feed. Next, I have um, a bigger blanket because normally I don't like to dress her too heavily when she's in her stroller. I just prefer to have a blanket on and then if we are in a store or whatever, I can just take it off and um, not worry that she's gonna be too hot. Then next, I just have an extra sweater and an extra pair of PJs because that's pretty much all she wears is PJs because it's the most comfortable thing. And then an extra pair of socks. Next, I have a full container of wipes. Then I usually carry eight size six diapers and then two size seven diapers. So the size seven diapers are nice for when we're on long trips. They hold the most, which is awesome. And then I carry three receiving blankets. So I carry these. These I use to lay down if I'm going to change your bum. If she's really phlegmy um, and she drools a lot, we use these to wipe her mouth with. So um, there is a pocket back here. Um, I don't have anything in it right now. So that is her diaper bag. And um, I'm just gonna show you a few other things that I always have with us. Okay, so I have this little um, pouch thing. Um, I made this for her stroller and I just carry one size seven diaper and one size six diaper in here. Um, I carry a small package of wipes and then her health card is in this little pouch here. So I carry her, right now I have two doctor's appointments cards. I have her sick kids card and her health card. Also in here I have um, her catheter. So this is if her G-tube got pulled out, um, you have to replace it with a catheter so that the hole doesn't close on her stomach um, until we can get to sick kids. And then also I just carry a little bit of tape to hold that on and some um, lubricating jelly to help slip the catheter in. So that is on her stroller at all times. Um, so we know no matter what, where she is, her health card is right beside her. So yes, I just made that and it stays on her stroller. If you wanted to see how it stays on her stroller, um, I showed you guys in my equipment video for Michaela. I'll have that link below if you want to see her stroller and check that out. Same with the feed pump, I talk a little bit more about that. And also in my car at all times, I never take it out. I have an extra supplies bag for Michaela. This um, just carries basically medical supplies that we don't normally need, but in an emergency we would need them. So that is just her extra supplies bag. Like I said, this um, stays in my van at all times. Um, I just brought it in to show you guys um, what I kind of keep in here. This is just for emergencies only. So that's what I have in my diaper bag. Like I said, this is only for a day trip. There's way more stuff that we need to bring if we go on an overnight trip. Um, so I just wanted to show you this. Um, and also I will be doing an updated 
version when the baby gets here so that you can see um, what I use for the baby and Michaela. I won't um, go over too much of what Michaela has, but definitely what the baby's going to have. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Oh, and let me know if you want a video this week for 17, 18, and 19 week bump date or all of month five. So let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye.